Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware version of your printer. In this case we're going to use an HP, you can see the model there, LaserJet Pro 200 color MFP, but this process works for most models as well. So I'm going to do a close-up to the small screen that it has and I'm going to go to information. I'm going to click on it, you can see today's state and the firmware date code, which says 2012-10-26, which means it, this printer has the version, the firmware version from 2012, which is pretty old, I might say. So what we are going to do now is, uh, this, print, this printer is a network printer, that means it's connected to a network. And now what we are going to do is go to a computer so we can proceed with the update. So here we are back. As you can see here, we are in the desktop computer. This one is Windows 10. And you can notice that the icons are a little bigger, so you can see it. I did that on purpose, so you can see it better. So I'm going to open a web browser and I'm going to type the IP address. The IP address, you can find it. Uh, since this is a network printer, we need the IP address. In this case, it's 10.1.11.8. And as you can see here, we can you can see the model on the top. You can see the cartridges level for the different colors. And there is a caveat for this. Well, it's not a caveat. Um, in order to update the, the firmware version, we need to do it from a computer that has the driver installed. Okay, in future videos, I'm going to show you another method to do it from anywhere in the network. But for this specific model, we need to do it this way. Now, you can see the model there. And again, uh, the cartridges color levels. And now we are going to go to system. But they made a mistake here. We don't have to be in this place. So it has to be in home. And from here we have to go to device configuration. And here is all the information in, that is important from this printer. What we, are, what, what we need is the serial number. So I'm going to copy that. And then you can see other kind of information like the firmware data code that we know, 2012, 10, 26, that we have seen it on the printer itself. And you can see many, uh, a lot of information about this printer. So the next step is going to be to see if there is an update for this printer. So for that, we need to go to, since this uh, printer is an HP, we have to go to hp.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description below, as always. And from here, you have to go to support, as you can see there, software and drivers. Now we're going to choose what we need, printer, laptop, de desktop, or other. Of course, it's a printer. Before we continue, uh, if you want to know how to update the BIOS version of a printer, computer, laptop, or desktop, you can do it. If you're curious about that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below, or you can click in the top right of this screen. So we click on printer, we copy, pay, we paste the serial number that we got a few seconds ago, and you can see that that's the printer. There's a picture of there, and we have a lot of information here, like, like uh, the driver for the product, software, ePrint, utility diagnostic tools. But we, what we need is the firmware. So we have one, and as you can see, it says 2019-0401. Uh, so this one came came out in April last year, 2019. So, and if we need, if you want more information about what this firmware update has, you can read all that. It's going to tell you wh what is going to patch. So if we come here, associate notes, you can read that. So this is more specific. And we go to download, it's going to open another window, and it's going to tell us um, the vulnerabilities that this uh, update is fixing or is going to prevent. So each one of those, CVE, as you can see there, CVE 2012, 2017, 2017, all those are um, vulnerabilities that this system may have. So if you grab one of them, you copy them, you go to google.com and it's going to tell you what exactly this is. So that's why it's very important to update the, bio, the firmware version of a device. So now uh, we don't need to see this anymore. and uh, We're going to download it. As you can see, it's almost 15 megabytes. So it's not that big. And now we're going to download it. As you can imagine, I already have it. It's here. And now I'm going to double click on it. So to proceed with the update, so you can see all the process. So my, uh, I have two monitors on this computer. So 
the software open in the other so i'm going to bring it here you can see hp laser jet to 200 color mfp and now it's asking me select the printer to update so this print uh, all this menu is all the printers that this computer has as you can see there is the hp there is a toshiba that obviously we don't need for this one so i'm going to click the toshiba so if you do this from a computer that doesn't have the printer installed you're not going to see it here so that's what i was saying a few minutes ago you need to have the printer installed on the computer from which you're going to install it so please ensure that the printer is ready in ready state before continuing so that means don't use it have it have the printer connected okay so i'm going to do something else i'm going to open a cmd a command line uh, in windows and i'm going to constantly ping to the ip address 10.1.11.8 so we are going to see that it loses con connectivity when we start the process so now i'm going to select send firmware and i'm going to press on it so this process takes, uh, the video is sped up because this process is a little long. It took three and a half minutes to four minutes, more or less, the entire process. So that's why I'm going to sped up the video. So as you can see, we have communication, but we're going to lose communication in a few more seconds. As you can see there, a request timeout. So the update process for the firmware has started so now i'm going to show you how it looks on the printer itself and then we are going to come back here so as you can see here it says programming and this is a good time to remember to subscribe and like this video so as you can see uh this is happening on the screen itself i didn't do this twice the, the update works that way so two times you're going to see programming at least on this model and the third one is going to be the regular boot for the printer so you can see there initializing and then we're going to be on the regular screen so the printer has rebooted itself after the update you can see that and now we're going to, to go back to the computers to see what was happening so this is what was happening while we we were on the print on, on the on the last clip so the computer lost communication you can you can read their destination host unreachable and then we are going to get communication one more time after the computer uh, after the printer has restarted so you can see there we have communication one more time and then the video again is sped up so we are going to you, you don't have to wait for the entire time that it took again it was between three and a half to four minutes so the process is going to end in a few more seconds and then it's going to show us this happy face so that means it was successful so the only thing we have to do after we see this smile is just click on exit so we can finish it so we click on it and we don't need this anymore and next well i'm going to close it and next i'm going to bring back the web browser so we can see um, the printer itself so we go this is the web interface i'm going to refresh it and now you can see, I'm going to refresh it again, that the firmware date code now says 2019.401. So that's the update we have downloaded a few minutes ago. And that's the one we have seen, uh, we are going to see on the printer itself. So I don't have anything else to do here. So we are going to go to the printer one more time. So here we are on the printer. As you can see here, that's where we started. And now I'm going to go to information. We're going to press on it and you can see the date, today's date and the firmware date code is 2019.04.01. So we have the latest update in this printer, I mean the firmware version. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video guys, a way to how to update the printer uh, firmware version. In this case it was an HP. I'm going to do more videos how to do it on a USB, on, an, on another HP models and uh, on Dell printers as well so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video